is your name, please? My name is Leonard Kelly. My name is Leonard Kelly. My name is Leonard Kelly. Panel, will you follow along with your copies of this next affidavit? I, Leonard Kelly, have two different vocations. At one, I am considered a veteran, and at the other, I am a novice. I have played professional ice hockey for the past 15 years, and now play center for the champion Toronto Maple Leafs. When not on the ice, I am a rookie member of the Canadian Parliament. I was elected to my first term in the House of Commons this year. Signed, Leonard Kelly. Very well, panel, these three gentlemen all claim to be, as you heard, Leonard Kelly, hockey-playing member of parliament in Canada. Let's start this cross-examination with Peggy Cass. Peggy? Thank you. Um, number one, uh, who won the Stanley Cup playoffs last year? The Toronto Maple Leafs. Thank you. Uh, number two, uh, who is Maurice Richard? Maurice Richard is of the uh, Canadian, uh, the Montreal Canadiens. Thank you. And number three, who does Bobby Hull play for? Hull, oh, Chicago Blackhawks. Thank you. Uh, number, uh, oh, yes. okay. Number one, who does Gordy Howe play for? Gordy Howe plays uh, for the Detroit uh, Hockey Club. Uh, number three, who is Frankie Brimsek goalie for? That's a good question. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, uh, number one, same question. Frankie Brimsek? Yes. Well, repeat it again. Which... Who is he goalie for? I don't think he is goaltender now. I think he did play goal, though, for uh, Boston. And he Are you an ex hockey player? Hockey game. All I can say is she spends a lot of time on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barry. Number three, who is Andy Bathgate? Andy Bathgate's with the New York Rangers. Number one, who is Doug Harvey? Doug Harvey is with the New York Rangers. Number three, how many fouls are you allowed? Any number. I don't think it's, there's no how limit on all right. number. Uh, what, uh, could you tell me your age? 38. Uh, what is the uh, usual age for retirement in... Uh... Well, it's about now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my present here. <laughs> Number uh, one, how did this um, sport affect your winning the election? Would you say it was a major cause of it? Uh, I would say that it was certainly uh, some cause of it. Number... They're afraid of me, aren't they? Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, who is the Governor General of Canada? Fannie. Uh, number two, uh, what is Eaton's in Toronto? Eaton's is a department store. Number three, what is the O'Keefe Center? O'Keefe Center? Yes. I don't really, really know. Uh, number one, do Alberta and British Columbia touch? Do Alberta and British, uh, yes. Number two, can you name, how many, how many provinces are there in, um, in Canada? Uh, ten provinces, two territories. Number three, does the name Massey mean anything to you in Massey, Canadian politics? Massey, that is a store. Huh? That's a store. That's a store in Toronto? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Tom. Uh, number, thank you, Bud. Number one, how many political parties are uh, represented in uh, Canadian uh, Parliament? Four. Uh, thank you. I'm going to pursue that with number one. Are they, uh, 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 which party lost a great deal of, a uh, great many seats in this past election? The uh, Conservatives. Was that the party to which you belong? No, I am a Liberal. <laughs> Thank you. Number two, what's the meaning of the blue line in a, in a hockey uh, rink? Blue line divides the rink in the center. Mm. Uh, number three, would you uh, tell us uh, Fontanato's first name? Lou. Lou. <laughs> That's it. So everybody off the ice, get to the business of marking your ballots, if you will, please. Mark them right now and without change and, of course, without consultation. As you vote now for number one. Number two, or number three. All ballots marked. Very well. Tom, which one did you select this time? Well, I thought to myself, if I were a member of this gentleman's constituency, for whom would I vote? And I voted for number one. Because <laughs> that's who I'd vote for. Peggy. As I made very clear, I think. 
I You're thought it would be number one because Frankie Brimsek was a goalie for the Boston Bruins about 20 years ago, and he knew... Now we can skip Barry, because we had one and one, and that makes well, two. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I, no? I couldn't get into any of that kind of thing. I just went, uh, I, I took a look at the uniform there on number two, and it looks like he's more of a rookie than 15 years of playing. That's a little too nice and new. Number three certainly should have known about the O'Keefe Auditorium, and uh, Peggy's question about that player was uh, very apt, I thought. Kitty. Well, number two, uh, I voted for. Um, number one may very well be it because his question, his answers were very good on on Toronto. But number three said that uh, Mr. Massey uh, was a department store, and <laughs> <laughs> and number two knew about uh, most of the things that I asked, including the fact that Eaton's is a department store. And I thought that was a rather specific question. Okay, here we go now to the denouement, so to speak, as we learn which one of these gentlemen is the real hockey-playing member of Canadian Parliament. So will the real Leonard Kelly please stand up? <laughs> well, the panel is a little smart on this one, I guess. Number two, may we have your real name and what you really do? Uh, Donald Hall. I'm a painting contractor for the Bronx, New York. <laughs> Really? Uh, my name is Gil Evans, and I'm an art director for Doubleday Book Company. <laughs> <laughs> well, in taking this fall, we find a little too much wisdom and cleverness on the part of the panel this time, but there was only one incorrect. That means $250 in Salem cigarettes and a carton at Salem's for each of you. And we thank you for bringing so much brightness and happiness to our show. Good night to you, gentlemen, and God bless you. Scheduled for a refreshing journey into springtime.